Hello and welcome back. For video 7 of my basic video on lightsaber use, I wanted to build off of that move that we dealt with last time, the Obiani, or Eclipse Spin. Again, it's called the Eclipse Spin because of this spin right here that happens behind my body. If I were facing the camera differently, that's the spin that's a little bit harder for you to see. Now, as you're learning this one, as I covered last time, breaking it down into movements, don't worry if it doesn't make that whole spin, if you're just pulling it back to the front. Okay, that whole spin will come as your, group lo or as your grip loosens up. Today, I wanted to cover adding a little bit to that. Now, in video two, we dealt with the idea of strikes. Right? If we add, you'll may, you may notice when you're learning that obi -Ani, this, this move out in front, sort of lends itself to a strike. If we add a strike to that, we end up with a pretty fancy looking move. Right, now what I did there, I went from that Obiani, and instead of just bringing the saber back to the front, I brought the saber around my body and went into a strike. And I can put both hands on it at this point, or I can just do it one-handed. Now this is the move that you see Kylo Ren doing a lot in Episode 7. Right, basically that. Um, it's a pretty handy move, it looks pretty nice, and you can move from it into other moves. You can also, if you like, add a body turn to it, by which I mean... Okay, all I did for that was I planted my right foot and I stepped backwards with my left foot. We're going to cover this basic pivoting footwork in a little bit later video. But just for right now, all I'm doing is stepping back with my left foot. And I'm doing that as I do that around the body. So what that ends up with... is a pretty impressive looking strike. All right, that's a good one for finishing a routine. Uh, so practice that and just uh, get used to the idea of stopping the blade every so often. Uh, move with it and stop it when you're ready to. Uh, hopefully that's been of help. Join me back here for part seven and we'll go a little bit further.